Welcome back to Decentralized News. So today I just want to discuss Sin Futures, which is uh, described as a next generation derivatives exchange that is uh, currently focusing on creating an open and uh, trustless derivatives market through making it possible for users to trade anything with a price feed. So Sin Futures is uh, essentially looking to cultivate a free market and uh, maximize the variety of uh, tradable assets thereby sort of uh, lowering the barrier to entry into the derivatives markets and uh, helping to create a more equitable digital asset exchange market so currently sin futures is in the uh, better version and uh, which actually makes it possible for you though to still access the decentralized application via uh, beta uh, beta sinfutures.com which can be done through the uh, web3 wallet such as uh, metamask so the platform actually offers an uh, all-in trading fee that is uh, also lowered and uh, and uh, the platform is also capable of uh, giving you all the data up front because it has a, a transparent uh, interface so you can see all your data so it's also said to be uh, inspired by uniswap so instead of uh, having though a uh, sort of a decentralized spot exchange market sin futures is uh, designed more as a decentralized uh, synthetic asset uh, derivatives trading platform so its uh, first version comes with a uh, futures trading market. So just as users of uh, Uniswap are able to create a uh, new spot trading pairs, for example, on uh, Sin Futures V1, you can also, um, it's also possible for any liquidity provider to essentially create uh, digital asset futures trading pairs that have uh, arbitrary assets and uh, arbitrary expiration dates as well. So understanding Sin Futures uh, automated market maker model is also very important because uh, by uh, adopting that model, uh, Sin Futures have uh, pricing, asset pricing actually follows a constant uh, product formula. So as far as uh, liquidity is concerned, you know, only a single asset, that's uh, the quote asset of the trading pairs is actually required to be supplied and then the other asset, which is the base asset, is then automatically synthesized by the contract. So this makes it uh, possible to also support cross-chain and real-world assets such as gold uh, and uh, foreign currencies and not simply just Ethereum uh, native assets. So that uh, synthetic automated market maker can actually be viewed as a market participant that has its own margin account that is also similar to other users. Nonetheless, it always uh, is prepared to make prices based on the constant product formula and its actual uh, current position. So aside from trading, the um, synthetic automated market maker contract also provides uh, uh, users with uh, interfaces to add and remove liquidity to uh, the automated market maker liquidity pool. Additionally, it can also you know the contract also acts as a gateway for users to deposit margin to and withdraw uh, margin from their accounts so you know as far as uh, liquidity on um, on sin futures i've actually gone in depth in this in the review so make sure you check out uh, the link in the description to uh, see uh, how uh, sort of uh, it works when you are uh, adding liquidity also specifically which is more important i go into in depth about the liquidation uh, mechanisms on synthetics as well so make sure you go and check that out because that is a very very important they also have some very good ecosystem partners being x phantom uh, etc so make sure you check out the rest of the review the link is in the description suggest any other content you'd like to see like share subscribe turn on the notification bell i'll see you again in the next peace y'all